Hey there, I'm Dr. Melissa. This week we are talking about scheduling your priorities because if you don't schedule them, they're not really priorities, right? They're not going to get done. Scheduling them, getting them on your calendar is what makes them a reality. And we're talking today about a zero-based calendar. I absolutely love this concept. I love the concept of a zero-based budget. I love the concept of a zero-based calendar. And I wanna explain to you exactly what I mean. I am someone who likes to be really flowy, who likes to do things on different days at different times, depending on the inspiration or the impulses of my soul. And I know that if I want my priorities, my goals to become reality, there are certain things that need to happen for, for that to become real. There are certain targets that I need to hit to make those things happen. And so when I do my schedule as a zero-based schedule, that means from the time I wake up in the morning to the time I go to bed in the evening, every single moment is scheduled. Now, does that mean that I am working the whole day and not resting? No. Absolutely not. In fact, I take about four hours a day for self-care. So, so what exactly do I mean? What I mean is, is planning out exactly what you intend to do. You know, you get up at 6.30 in the morning and I will be done working out by 7.30 and out of the shower by 8 and so on. You know, time blocks for work with clients, time blocks for recording videos for people like you, time blocks for speaking to potential clients on the phone to see if we're a good fit, time blocks for interacting with people on Facebook or LinkedIn or the various platforms, time blocks for my exercise and movement, time blocks for eating so that I don't let it go and realize at three in the afternoon that I'm starving because I skipped lunch. Time blocks for meditation, time blocks for spending time with my kids, time blocks for spending time with my husband, time blocks for learning, for reading, for interacting with friends. When I plan it all out, there's actually an amazing amount of flexibility and an an amazing opportunity to flow because I no longer feel like I have 37 things out there that I have to hope are done at the end of the day. I have an idea and a plan for where this is going to happen. And if something else comes up, I have the opportunity to say, yes, that's important enough. I'm going to work that into my schedule and I'm going to move this time block to another day. Or I have the opportunity to say, you know what, that is not an urgent matter and I have time on Thursday. So we're going to put it there. It it gives me a spaciousness and a freedom to do what I need to do so that I'm hitting those targets, so that I'm moving towards my goals, whether they are with regard to my health, my business, my relationships, the impact that I'm creating in the world. It allows me to get them all in there with every moment scheduled and it allows me to know I'm done working today at five o'clock and tonight is family night with my kids. So I have that to look forward to. I know when this rest period or enjoyment period is coming as opposed to working kind of all the time and not really knowing when you get a break. I'm not fitting in my my self-care time. I'm prioritizing it. I'm not fitting in my family. I'm prioritizing it. And I'm not hoping that my business goals just some sort of how, how somehow magically happen because I'm prioritizing the tasks that need to be done to get me there. The zero-based calendar is an amazing resource to create that freedom and that flow while moving forward towards your goals. I invite you to join us in our Facebook group, The Abundant Tears, 
a group of amazing people who are creating abundance in all areas of life, we would love to have you.